Another thing we need to look at is the uh, Z out. Um, basically what it is is a Thevenin resistance. You remember the uh, maximum power transfer theorem which said that uh, uh, maximum power transfer MPP it uh, let's look at this the uh, maximum power transfer from this would be when the load is equal to R uh, you really wouldn't want it less than that but uh, um, if we look at this circuit from RL's standpoint here from here to here and we look into it this way to find out what the impedance is here looking this way um, we can find out the minimum RL for maximum power transfer. So if we look at this we have um, let's see RL looking in we see a RE first um, what else do we see? We see a um, this transistor thing which is there's an R prime E on this side of it on the emitter side of it uh, interesting if you if you're looking in this way all these resistances are multiplied by beta and however if you're looking this way guess what they are they are divided by beta. So we see here um, R1 in parallel with R2 and looking a little further we see the RS um, sources are shorted so we have this going on. So we have R1 in parallel with R2 and RS so let's write up an equation for this uh, first thing we see is RE that's in parallel all these things are in parallel so we have uh, R prime E on this on this side of the transistor and on the other side of the transistor we have R1 parallel with R2 in parallel with RS and that's all over beta DC Okay, so that's plus. Yeah, that is pretty interesting. Usually it comes down to uh, all this divided by beta. Uh, RE is not in the picture, so actually output Z, or Z out, is actually pretty low. And the next problem we will do this equation with numbers to it. So here we go.